friendly comfort food. So Claire Tansy has it covered for dinner. You got the healthiness going on. Yeah. A nice big serving so everyone can enjoy. Now meatloaf um, has been mm. a popular meal, go-to meal forever. Uh -huh. You're making salmon loaf. Making salmon loaf with canned salmon. That is so good for your bones okay, you, and your speaking hair. Speaking of your, your bones skin. and your hair, don't get any hair in that. <laughs> okay. Um, canned try. salmon. I used to think people, I had to convince people to eat canned salmon, but it's then true. every time I publish a canned salmon recipe, people yeah. are like, this is my favorite. Yes, you know why? Because people not enough this. people say what to do with the canned salmon. Exactly. So exactly. now you're giving us something to do yeah, with it. So you're going to mash that up. And the thing is that if you buy the salmon in the can, you got to mash it up because it's yeah. got the skin and the bones in there. That's where you have to. People, I know, you're just going to have to big up, put on your big girl pants and get over it. you got to get over it. You're just going to put your hair in a top knot you're just going to get over got it. it. Okay? Okay. So once you mash that up, then because you're going to the add... Because the skin and the bones, that's the good stuff? Keep mashing, my oh, darling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so then we've got some got eggs. Yeah, yep. the skin and the bones is full of calcium and... Yeah. A whole bunch of other stuff Omega that has names and that has stuff in it. Yes. Uh, onion. Nutrients. Yes. What's the stuff you just put in before that? Breadcrumbs. Bread it's oh. breadcrumbs, and I've been using the whole wheat breadcrumbs. Oh, and you like because them? Because they're delicious. Okay. Fantastic. Good. Okay, then we're going to add some salt. We're going to add yeah. some milk. We're going to throw in a loaf pan. Okay. You're going to grease the loaf pan <laughs> Do like it. nobody's business. Okay. Learn from my mistakes. Okay. And then that takes about an hour in the oven. Yeah. Amazing. Look at this. It's like, so it's so good. delicious. People love it. It's easy, easy. It's so easy. So then the next time canned salmon is on sale, all you have to do is buy four cans and you're set. Yeah, buy so many. Because it's wild, it's mm. sustainable, you know all the good stuff about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so now let's make some chicken fried rice. Okay, let's do that. Because this is another favorite of ours. We often, you know, look, sometimes we order takeout. Right. Tracy, some, we're ordinary humans That's just okay. like the rest of everyone. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, it comes with like so much rice. Yes. So you've got your rice. With fried rice, it has to be cold rice. Yeah. Day old rice. Yeah. But it's, it's better. This is a bland situation here. So what you really want to do with good fried rice, good fried rice, uh -huh. is like tons of flavor. Yeah. Tons of flavor. I've got five teaspoons of fresh ginger in there. Okay. Tons of flavor. Garlic and onion. Yeah. And then once that goes in, I want this to be on, nice and hot. Then I'm gonna add some vegetables. This is the kind of, as long as you've got this in it, I don't care what else you add. Yeah. So I, I happen agree. to have broccoli and peppers, so it's that's gonna go in. in. The, whatever's in the fridge. Exactly. Whatever vegetables you need to get rid of before it turns to slime. Whatever <laughs> vegetables <laughs> your children will eat. Mm -hmm. And then this is the genius part of the fried rice, is that you fry it all up together. Yeah. And in doing so, the rice gets a little bit crispy. It also, like, if it's two days old, maybe you don't really want to eat it, but you yeah. fry it and it's safe to eat it's again. Perfect. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> hey, I am here. I'm gonna, we we're going to reduce food waste. We are going to yeah, make people happy. It. And then a couple of eggs. So yeah. I just like to, you know, beat those up a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so that, aggressive. That came out wrong. <laughs> uh, I like to mix them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then you incorporate that. And then I also have some leftover oh, chicken. Oh, nice. And again, could be shrimp, could be pork, could be tofu, could be chickpeas. Yes. You do you. And that goes in. Drizzle with some soy sauce and some sesame oil. It is a winner. A big, big winner. That is winner. so good. That is a great weeknight meal. We uh, turn to that quite a bit.